Hi guys, this is Parker with another GD Math Problem of the Day from TestPrepChampions.com and you can try this one on your own. The question is what's the diameter of a circle that has an area of 100 pi? And pi is just this little math symbol here. It's equal to approximately equal to 3.14 and then a bunch of other numbers that you don't really need to know. But anyway, the point here is that you're going to answer this question, and hopefully you know that answer choice E isn't the real answer, but that's a joke. So go ahead, pause the video, and try it out on your own first. Okay, cool. So what's the diameter of a circle that has an area of 100 pi? Well, so first of all, we have to know that to find the area of a circle, we need this formula here. And this will be given to you on your test, but it's good to practice with. So area equals pi r squared, where r is equal to the radius. And let me put this in a little box here. And there's one other formula that we need to know before we could jump in here. And that's that the diameter, which is we'll call D, is equal to 2R, or twice the radius. So the diameter is, of a circle is twice as big as the radius. Okay, so now we're told here that the circle has an area of 100 pi. So I'm going to take this 100 pi, and we're going to just plug that 100 number right into the formula for area. And we're going to solve for the radius. Then once we've got the radius, we can convert to the diameter. So here we go. So we've got our 100 pi. That's our area. That's equal to pi r squared. And so since we've got pi on both, uh, on both sides of the equation, we can divide pi out and clear pi out here. So we can rewrite this then as 100 equals r squared. And so we're not done yet. 100 is not the radius. 100 is equal to the radius squared. So we've got to take the square root of both sides. All right, so we wanted to take the square root of both sides. And let me keep going down here. I'm making an error to show you that I'm rewriting this. So the square root of 100 is 10 because 10 times 10 gives you 100. And that's a good one to memorize, but if you don't know that at the top of your head, you can always just plug the square root of 100 into your calculator and it'll tell you that it's 10. And we have r squared, you take the square root of that, that's just gonna give you r. So we know that the radius is equal to r. So we're done, answer A, right? Nope, not so fast. Hopefully you weren't fooled by that because remember, we wanna find the diameter. The diameter, not the radius. So We've got 10 equals r. So now all we have to do is we've got to double that because we know that the diameter is equal to twice the radius. So what's 10 times 2? 10 times 2 is 20. So therefore we know that 20 equals the diameter of the circle and that's answer C. So hopefully you got that or hopefully you at least see how I did that. You'll definitely want to know how to do this for the GED test. And good luck on the test. Please give me a thumbs up on this video if you learned something new and subscribe and you won't miss any more GD math practice problems of the day. Thanks, guys. Good luck on your test.